Cheers, Lisa. You finished with that? Thanks. Cheers. I'll grab your glass, thanks. Excuse me, have you seen my husband? He's tall, dark hair. Excuse me, I think my husband was in here last night. Were you in here last night? I'm looking for my husband. He hasn't been home and I know he's been coming here. His name's Jim. He's tall, he's got dark hair. You must have seen him. Yeah, I know who you mean. I see him here all the time. He's usually here for hours and hours. I haven't seen him around today. He's usually in by lunch, though. I knew it. I do know who she's talking about, but I need to be respectful of our customer's privacy. I don't know what his situation is, or hers. I need to be careful what information I share. Sorry, I see a lot of faces coming through. I can't help you there. Well, if you can't help me, I'll find someone who can. Mm, that's no good. I can't just turn her away. I need to defuse the situation and give her some options for help. But first, I need to take her somewhere a bit more quiet. You know, I think I can offer some help. Why don't you come with me and I'll get you some information I think will really make a difference. There's a free helpline that you can call that's great for people in your situation. While I'm grabbing the number, I'll get Steph, our customer liaison officer. She can have a chat with you about other options like venue and self-exclusion.